Hi, I am Prabhu. In this video tutorial, you learned about how to model a complex shapes. So before that, you want to know uh, something about loop maintenance or edge flow. So what is meaning of loop maintenance means? So for example, uh, I have this cube here. So I will scale this one. So press 5 to see the shaded mode. So see here uh, when I go to take edit mesh and choose insert edge loop. So when I click here, sorry, when I click here, so it will automatically flow all the way to so 360 degree. So uh, but see in the top of the face. So when I double click on this edge, the edge will stop here because so the corner edge will not flow upwards. So all the four sides we have that problem. The corner edge will not flow upwards. So you want to clear it manually. So how to do that? So go to select face. So and choose edit mesh and extrude. So extrude in X. Scale this way and this way. So now we uh, have the corner edge will flow upwards in all the four sides. So when I go to edge mode, so when I double click on this edge, the edge will flow all the way. So this is called uh, edge flow or mesh flow. So uh, why we want to uh, maintain edge flow means uh, if you want to uh, smooth the model, we definitely want to maintain the edge flow so in this training we learned how to maintain edge flow so this uh, training will continue up to 12 parts before we getting started you want to download the reference image that is in the description box please download that so after you download you got this so uh, in first part we learn how to make this uh, key with perfect edge flow and mesh flow so see here uh, this is made by me so this is a reference image this is how wherever you want to maintain loop and hold okay so okay. let's get started before we get started we want to judge the model what the basic shape of the model so in this case the basic shape of the key is uh, polycube so go to maya and choose polycube so in this case the cube will automatically created in center of grid sometimes it will not happen because of go to create panel polygon primitives and choose interactive creation enable so when interactive creation enable means the poly when I click on polycube we want to uh, create it manually so in this case I want uh, automatically created so I disable the interactive creation and choose polycube it will create automatically in center of grid because my model in my model is similar in shape of both sides so I will model uh, one side and mirror it over to another side so I want to create it manually so press 5 to see the shaded mode so and scale this in this direction so the height of the key is little bit smaller so I want two divisions so go to inputs and choose poly uh, subdivision with the two two sorry two and subdivision depth to 2 so that means we got uh, two divisions from this direction and this direction so we want to uh, go vertex mode and scale this way and move upward so I want to scale this way and move little bit down so I want to insert edge loop in center of this area in center of this area so and go to vertex mode and adjust it so first of all we want to uh, make a basic shape of the model 
so before detailing you want to adjust the basic shapes so I delete this face so go to face mode and select this face and delete it so I want one loop from here so go to insert edge loop and click here and go to vertex I adjust it little bit so I adjust it little bit so see your reference image uh, and match so max exactly much as you can so select this vertex so move little bit in this direction so that means we got that basic shape of the model so I adjust this vertex so I want uh, hold from this area so see here uh, the there is uh, we want to cut this face so go to edit mesh and choose insert edge loop and choose here and here so to maintain the whole shape so before that you want to adjust this vertex because uh, in poly modeling the edge distance will be uh, equal want to maintain equally so because if you smooth uh, the poly cube will uh, maintain in the shape exactly what we want so we want to adjust uh, more or less equal number of segments okay so see here the top portion of the edge will be high compared to the uh, bottom portion of the edge so I will move little bit like this so to maintain the shape okay so see here one two three four five six edge but here we have only four edges so uh, insert edge loop here and here to maintain the equal distance so I want to adjust this vertex like this sorry like this like this and like this so like this little bit so and I adjust the shape like this so I want to maintain a little bit here, here and here so we got the basic shape so you want to duplicate on sorry mirror it, mirror it on this side so go to uh, mesh mirror geometry option box so in this case the cube in x direction see here uh, sometimes you have like this means uh, your position is in z direction so in my case the mirror axis in x direction so I will x in mirror direction to x plus and mirror so it will automatically merge with original so and go to uh, vertex mode and adjust little bit so and also and I also adjust here so see here uh, the whole shape is little bit bigger so I will choose this vertex move little bit upward so and scale this way so you want to choose up uh, top and bottom area to scale it so the hole is in beanut shape so I want to adjust this center part so select this vertex and press W to move upwards so see here uh, we have lot of space here so go to insert edge loop and insert another one loop here to maintain the even distance so I want to adjust the shape I want to adjust the shape here also so to maintain the even distance so little bit like this and a little bit like this so I want to select this face to so I want to select this face to 
to uh, make a hole before that uh, see here uh, we want to uh, maintain the edge flow here so when I double click on this edge the edge will uh, stop flowing here because the corner edge will not flow upwards so you want to clear it manually so uh, from all the direction so select all the face in the model so I want to deselect on side go to side uh, view so I control deselect on this side face you want to uh, select on top and bottom faces so see here don't choose in sideways so only select the top and bottom face and go to edit mesh and choose extrude so I extrude this way and I extrude this way so that means it will automatically clear the edge corner because see here the edge corner will corner edge will flow upwards so all the direction so when I double click on this edge so it will automatically flow uh, 360 degree so in bottom and top areas see here so okay then uh, select this face so select this face bottom and top area so and choose extrude scale this way and scale this way sorry scale this way and scale this way okay so and press delete to remove this edges so double click on this edge and double click on shift to double click on the bottom edge and go to edit mesh and choose bridge option box so in that you want to maintain two divisions and linear path and press bridge button so sometimes it will uh, offset like this so in poly inputs you want to uh, adjust the bridge offset so like this so it will automatically clear so you want to maintain two, two subdivisions because you want to maintain this edge sharpness so select double click on this edge and double click on this edge so and press R to scale in Y direction to closest to top edge so and go to edit mesh and choose insert edge loop here and bottom also so and we want to maintain this edge also sharp so insert edge loop here here and also bottom areas so here sorry here sorry here sorry sorry about that so here so sometimes it will happen like this so here and then here so it will automatically continue to the uh, last stage so and go to object mode and press 3 so it will create a perfect edge loop uh, the edge sharpness you check it out the corner edges here double click on this edge so and double click on this corner edge so and double click on this corner edge and double click on bottom corner edge so see here so that means the model will be perfectly loop uh, and uh, exact shape of the model so in this way we got uh, the perfect shape of the key so uh, we finished the first part um, we continue modeling on second part in second part uh, you will learn how to model uh, this uh, socket so in this we have three holes one two and three so and we maintain lot, lot of edge loop scribe so we continue modeling on part two so if you have any doubts and clarification please contact my email so it's in the description box so please send your uh, model to me so I will give you suggestion 
about your model so the loop maintenance is correct or not so if you have any doubts about modeling uh, please send your uh, reference image to my email i will make a tutorial for you so please subscribe so and thank you for watching my video we will see on part 2